Hey everyone, do you want to win more cribbage games? Of course you do. In this video, I'm going to explain how to accomplish that with something called the Theory of 26. This theory is well known among cribbage experts, but perhaps not very well known among casual players. So let's change that. This theory can be a bit difficult to understand on paper, so my goal with this video is to help explain this theory visually so that it's easier to understand and put into practice. Let's dive in. The theory of 26 was developed by Dylan Colvert. I mentioned him in the video I did on expected average. Dylan Colvert was a champion cribbage player who also wrote a book called Play Winning Cribbage. It's an excellent book on cribbage strategy that you need to check out. This theory comes straight out of that book. Over thousands of games charted and tens of thousands of hands analyzed, Colvert found that the average number of points the dealer will score from pegging, counting their hand and their crib hand is 16.2. He also found that the average number of points the non-dealer will score from pegging and counting their hand is 10.2. We can round off both of these numbers, so 16 points for the dealer and 10 for the non-dealer. 16 plus 10 equals 26, theory of 26. If you use this strategy, Colvert claimed your winning percentage will increase by as much as 6%. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but this 6% is what separates the okay players from the really good players. Let's put this theory into practice by walking it through on the crib board. The game starts off with the non-dealer counting first. We'll call the non-dealer player two. So player two will earn 10 points on average from pegging and counting their hand. Then the dealer, we'll call the dealer player one, they count their hand and crib, and they'll have earned a total of 16 points on average. Then on the next deal, player one is the non-dealer, and they count first, 10 points earned between pegging and counting their hand. Player two, as the dealer, pegs, counts their hand and their crib hand, and advances 16 points. And we continue this around the board. Player two is a non-dealer, they count their 10 points, and then the dealer counts 16, and so on. We arrive at the 104 point hole and the game is tied. So player two is the non-dealer and counts first. They advance 10 points, bringing them to the 114 point hole. Then the dealer counts and advances 16 points, leaving them one point away from winning. And they get first count on the next deal. The non-dealer is seven points shy of winning and they're kind of sad about it. This is why being the dealer to start the game is an advantage. After nine deals, the dealer is one point short of winning the game. And more importantly, they have first count on the next deal. Meanwhile, the non-dealer is seven points back. And I know what you're thinking. Not every game goes exactly like this. And you're right. Not every game runs exactly average around the board. About one game in every 10 will go like this. And these are the games you have to win. These are the games the Theory of 26 will win for you. Let's take a look at this again, but this time, let's work backwards. This might help make things clearer. To win, you need to get to the 121 point hole before your opponent does. So to do that, using the Theory of 26, your goal is to be the non-dealer here at the 111 point hole, because you'll get to count your hand first, and the 10 points earned between pegging and counting your hand will be the 10 points you need to win. Let's keep walking this backwards. To get to the 111 point hole and be the non-dealer, you want to be the dealer at the 95 point hole. Because as dealer, you'll advance 16 points between pegging, counting your hand, and your crib hand. Working backwards, you'll want to be the non-dealer at 85 points, the dealer at 69, and so on until we get to the start of the board, where we see that the first goal is to be the non-dealer at the seven point hole. So if you're the non-dealer to start the game, you're already at a seven point disadvantage. Remember those seven sad faces from before? If you're starting the game as the non-dealer, your goal is to make up those seven points as you progress around the board so that you can be in a position to count first and win. And how do you count first and win? 
by dealing from the critical position zones. The first critical position zone is 17 to 21 points. 17 is the first par hole, and your goal is to be dealing from there. The second critical position zone is 43 to 47 points. The third zone is 69 to 73 points. And the fourth critical position zone is 95 to 99 points. Your goal is to be the dealer at each of those zones. On top of that, you'll want to reach each of these par holes. The par hole at 33 points as non-dealer. The par hole at 43 points as dealer. 59 points as non-dealer. 69 points. 85 points, 95 points, and 111 points. This is quite a bit of information, but mastery of board position is critical to being a good cribbage player. Take your time and study these critical position zones and these par holes. Some things to remember. If you're starting the game as dealer, your best strategy is to play defense. Your goal is to slow the game down and not let your opponent peg. You have nine points that you can sacrifice to defense over the course of the game and still maintain an advantage. If you start the game as the non-dealer, offense is the the name of the game. You'll want to peg often and hold on to high scoring hands, even if it means giving away good cards to your opponent's crib hand. You have seven points that you need to make up over the course of the game to put yourself in a position to count first and win. And whether you're dealer or non-dealer to start the game, you'll want to know where your opponent is on the crib board, know the par holes, and play offensively or defensively in relation to them. That's board position, and that's the theory of 26. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other videos as well as the links below. See you next time.